The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. And uh, this is the 6th of November, day after election day. And of course, the market is responding very favorably to the Trump win up 1,251 at 43,482. So um, you see the nine period moving average, which was pink. And one of the reasons why we didn't go short unless we timed it exactly at the top is because we do have uh, aggressively long positions in the in the Dow. We didn't add to it actually. Um, we went into different places, but most importantly, that weekly chart was just so strong. And I keep talking about it and saying, uh, you can't really fight a nine period moving average so far above the fourteen period moving average. Uh, you know, just to give you an idea of how strong this one particular technical tool can be. Twenty four hours ago, at well, just over at nine thirty. The, in the 10 minute e mini chart yesterday, the nine period moving average went green with the price, and that was around about 58, uh, 57.80, 57.70. And look at this. Even with the Chapman Wave peaks and troughs, it went to a peak uh, F right here, then a pullback, went to a peak E, then a pullback, went to another peak E, then pullback, went to a peak C1, C2. C3, oh, that's the C4, I put a, a, a second one in, C4, with a rectangle formation. But look at this. It did not, that nine period moving average would have kept you in that trade until when? Right there, that bar at 7 o'clock this morning, uh, 59.33 and 59.19. Uh, so I would say that 57.70 to 59.13, that's not bad for a, for a single technical tool to keep you in a trade like that. So now it's turned pink a few times, and you've got the rectangle formation. In the rectangle formation, very often, you stay in that rectangle, you can pop above it, but when you start to come down, if it doesn't take it out the high, when it comes down again and, and takes out the halfway marker of the of the rec, long rectangle formation, be careful because that time it can take out the base which it has. So this is going to be very interesting because my contention is that with the move that we saw overnight, yesterday, don't forget the Dow was up over 400 points, the S&P was up sharply. There's a chance that anyone, and there must have been a lot of people short, you saw the, um, the VIX index, how it was hovering up in the higher range all week uh, as fund managers were buying insurance. There's a, ch I'm just saying there's a chance I've seen this before. I've seen this movie before. Usually it's at lows, not when you're going to highs. But where the, with the power move of, the, of whatever it is, the story, whatever it is, is taken um, so seriously with such a powerful move either to the downside or the upside that it doesn't really rest. Even here, look, here's the one-minute chart. Look, it, it took quite a, quite a dip from 5,900 uh, the high was, uh, let me give you the exact high, the high was, I think I said, 59.54. Well, 59.54, 54 points down to this 5,900 level, and now you're finding, and the shorts must have been saying, okay, okay, just keep going down, keep going down, I'm going to cover. And if they haven't covered yet, imagine if the if the market, the Dow is at up to almost 1,300 points. The s and is up 104, the cash. Can you imagine if it doesn't give you that opportunity to cover? And then at the end of the day, it's almost at the high. And you say, okay, to overnight, tomorrow, there has to be a pull. And then tomorrow, there's another squeeze on the upside. And then that takes you to Thursday. What happens if it's only Friday, options expiration, Friday, that you suddenly get your turn to the downside? You've, you're going to cover. You, 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 you're done. And that's the whole thing I'm looking at you. So when a subscribers have asked me anything that we must, can we actually buy it here? My my question is, it depends what it is. For instance, um, I'd recommended, should I really go there? 
Yeah, I just mentioned this morning the Cleveland Cliffs CLF, which is uh, 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 roll steel, etc. This is a, a stock that just got hammered. It was a 34 back in 2022 in April. Here it is two two years later, two and a little bit, two and a half years later. And what's happened? It's plunged down to the tens and is trying to get off the ground. Well, that kind of gap down yesterday. Look at this island reversal. It must have either been earnings or news. It was horrible, whatever it was. The gap down from the 13s to the to the 11s, <laughs> that's not good. But look at this gap to the upside. So the question came in, uh, should, should I... Should I buy this? Uh, you had mentioned it. Well, there are two things. One is something else that I've been recommending is in an area that has been moving up for qu quite a while. It's an area I've discussed very often. We had it once and we got out of it, and I we, we've got back into it. But the fact is that that is an area that I think has legs because it is anticipating together with what's going on in the bond market right now. It's anticipating a move up in that sector that can actually hold for a little while. This one here is a sector that's been beaten down. So what I said is you can start a little position, just nibble here, but don't get carried away because we just don't know yet because – Trump's not in office. He's got two months to go. We know what happened the last time, um, you know, the last uh, where, between the presidential election and going into uh, into the actual uh, the day that the the baton gets passed, right? Um, in January, January the twentieth uh, or so. Well, so there's a long time to go. So I'm just saying, yes, you've got to be a little careful. Yes, it's oversold. If you go to X, this is uh, U.S. Steel, symbol is X. A very nice move. Great went to a link. Yeah, a lot of Ds I'm seeing. Big spike to the upside of 41.50. It's now at 40.32. A red candle, but with a nice gap up. It's up $1.24. That one's got a little bit more meat to it because it's been acting quite well since it hit the 200 period moving average. So I'd be careful. So it really is very selective, and I'm intending to do a webinar to talk about this very thing, that we're seeing sector rotation. But that's not good enough because you've got to be in the right sector. And that we'll know. We've already started seeing it, uh, what's working. But I would give it just another week. And then we'll be able to see, is there follow through? And that's really my point right here. All right, let's run these again. Where did I stop? I stopped at the QQQ. Let's go to the IWM, the Russell 2000. I've been talking about this for some time, saying S&P 500 has a fantastic move going to all-time highs. The iShares Russell 2000 is just been lagging, lagging. But like gold and silver, you know how gold and silver, gold goes up, silver says, hey, wait for me. And then silver goes up, gold says, all right, I'm going to take a rest. Then gold goes up, silver says, wait for me. And all of a sudden, silver leads, gold comes back, and then gold tries to rally, and then they both tank. They're in the tanking phase right now. So that's going to be the same with the S&P. S&P is going to have a little bit of a breather at some point. And the Russell 2000, we will see. We don't know, but we will see if the Russell 2000 can continue moving up towards 244.46. It's all-time high. It's at 235 right now. I'll be back in a moment. Russell Chapman, Titan Initiatives Hour, Dow's up 13. Can you imagine? 1,309. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
reports and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi folks, we're back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour, and we're looking at uh, the IWM uh, rallying all the way to 236.75 early this morning. So far, holding most of the gains, uh, certainly of the candle itself during the market hours, not pre-market hours, because that's the, that's why you see that huge gap. Finally, we remember this is the Chapman wave. Uh, overlapping wave and I, I, I spoke about it, peak C1 and we wait to see what happens how you can break above it and especially when underneath it you have a P this is a weekly chart a gray A because it's under the previous peak C1 or it was a C at the moment we didn't know it was a C1 it was just C and then a B underneath the C and then a C underneath that C but just barely so you call that a peak C2 acts like a D but you still anticipate if the technicals are strong there's a chance that we get that missing leg D whoosh today we got that leg D in the day in the weekly chart and we got a leg D in the monthly chart so I was saying the other day, now we've got almost everything in monthly charts at leg D from Ds where you get kind of, now you have to watch carefully to see when you get your big pullback. So far, it hasn't happened. Let's just go to the SMHs. Now, they're not participating at the same degree um, as the others that have four at 252.50. Peak D at 283.07 in July comes down now. It's got a gray A, a gray B. It's actually blue, but it should be called gray A, gray B, gray C under the previous highs. And it's struggling. And I'm thinking this is part of the rotation that we're going to see. And that's the reason why I said in my newsletter today, shorts might not be able to cover because we've got a rotation going on. In fact, I meant to mention this to Jacob when we were uh, when I was being interviewed yesterday. I wanted to tell him, look, PAVE. This is the PAVE is the Global X U.S. Infrastructure and Development ETF has held so well. It's got a missing leg D in the weekly chart, and it's got an alternate count in the uh, monthly chart. But to go with that, we look the, look at AA. I don't even know if it's in the PAVE. But it should be, oops, AA. Alcoa. Look at that nice move in Alcoa. It also had the missing peak D, leg D in the weekly, and now it's gone to leg D. But the monthly chart has once a 98.08 March of 2022, just over four years, well, exactly three years later in 2023, makes a low in the 20s and has gone peak A, peak B, stalled quite badly. And now the monthly chart has gone 
with a nine period moving average crossing positively. This is still early in the game, if that's going to be the case. So here it is, Alcoa, looking great. So there were a couple in this whole sector that said to me, I wouldn't get very short yet. Anyone who's thinking that, and I, I mean, I couldn't tell you how many emails I got from this automa automated generated uh, saying, uh, I mean, crash. And I mean, I, I don't even know what they were talking about because I don't even read them. And I'm saying to myself, I don't see that in the chart. I just see very positive charts. And I see some kind of a pullback. We had the daily charts that sell signal to sell mode. But the weekly charts were looking fabulous. And I'm staying with that, that attitude. Now, look at this. Let's go to uh, gold. So gold, I'm not going to spend much time on this because it's a very necessary, much needed um, pullback that we saw from the 2800 area. We're down at 2676, down 73. Uh, weekly chart, doji candle leg E. I was saying, whoops, we've got to be a little careful. We had a gold stock, got out of it for a very, we made a little bit of a gain, then a little bit of a loss. And then I said, we're done and I'm fine. And But it's a weekly peak E. But a monthly leg C going to a possible peak C, that's his gold at some point should still make higher highs. It might take a little while because it's a monthly chart. Let's look at silver. Oh, no, before I do that, because a lot of people ask me about GDX. GDX got really hit hard. It's gone down to the uh, 38.73 area, down 1.39. This is leg D to the downside. Underneath, remember I spoke about this. I said this is a pattern we see very often. It has to hold this travel wave inside track propellant zone. It didn't. If you're looking at um, silver, silver is down uh, 1.42 at 31.36. So I said there's a good chance this is not a peak C, but a peak G says C, and it will be a G if silver comes back down and takes out the 3170 area. Well, today's at 31.35, so that becomes a PG. And I'm, I'm still leaving F slash C in the weekly chart, and it is a leg D in the monthly chart. So then, there again. So just be careful. High-grade copper. High-grade copper um, is down sharply since these commodities. It's, a, you know, it's so fascinating. The Biden administration, Biden-Harris administration, didn't talk about certain things that I think they should have. They should have said the market is at all-time highs. We're starting to see deflation because the food, you haven't seen deflation in the supermarket, but you will find that there is some deflation in those areas. Look at this copper trade going down to 4.25, uh, uh, fading to hold the 200 period moving average. Look at the DBA. This is the DBA agricultural fund. We are still long from the 13s. It's a number of times it's gone skyrocketing up into the 20s, hit 27 just recently. Here it is at 25 in this dreaded H path and it goes to a lowercase m. I think we're looking at, so I really know the whole thing is that I think we will be seeing some deflation. Whether we see that deflation in the first quarter of 2025, I don't know. But this is what I'm seeing right now. Look at crude oil. Crude oil did pull back from its highs. It hit the 200 period moving average and it just stalled. Boom. It's at 71.95. All right. So let's go back to our story. What we were looking at is within the context of the different sectors. Look at Bitcoin. So I've been talking about this for some time. I've been talking about Bitcoin making a potential cup and handle formation. I mentioned that the IYT, which has been very strong, had that same pattern and was very successful with it. And the handle's gone above the cup lip in the handle formation. It's up uh, 250 at 73.06. I'm only talking chart patterns now. And it's finally a leg D in the daily gap up. Doji Candle, this is the uh, transportation index, I shares transportation average ETF. Um, so leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly, and leg E in the monthly. Let's go back to that pattern we were looking at there. So that's it. Let's go back to the pattern we were looking at. That's it. Aha, BTC. Um, that This is now the handle part of the cup and handle monthly. The weekly chart had a left side, right side price time, time match which says it can go to 
this particular high right here, which was, uh, this is the continuous contract, so the price could, might change. I've got it right now at 79,020, all-time high. And it says it should go to 79, it should go to that 79,200s uh, by the week of the 22nd of November. Here's your channel wave inside wedge target resistance line. You usually make it dash green. That's a technique that I've I show in my webinars um, where I take it from. And uh, you went right through the channel wave inside track repellent zone. I can get rid of this now. You don't need it anymore. Um, there it is. Okay, so we're looking at this is the uh, Bitcoin. Yes, it's leg east, a little overboard, but wow, it's acting so well. Look at the nightly moving average in the weekly, and look at the monthly, how wide that is. And yes, we're all done. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, now it's up to 1376. Wow, 1376. SB's one, up 120. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, let me 
just get to this. Uh, I, I wanted to show my uh, my technique here in the uh, one five minute charts of the E mini, but I, I won't because I got this question. I think it's a couple of questions. I need to just get to that. So, um, hi Basil, is it too late in your opinion to put on a long on the diamonds, the QQQ, and the spy? Can you look at Nvidia and Apple and DJT if you can? Uh, go Trump, I can finally exhale after four years of agony. Okay, well, um, you know, his mouth, it just, I just, I, 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 I admire his tenacity. It's just unbelievable. Um, we can get into that another time. It's the mouth that sometimes, phew, can just drive me. I, you know, I, all right, let's get moving. We're looking at junk bonds right now, actually up. Seven cents at ninety six point thirty. So the question is, is it too late? Well, let me explain something. In the diamonds, if you're going one to one, um, the DIA, you see the gap here. This is what I use every day for my subscribers. I use this uh, to show this chart because we're always along the diamonds. We long from two thousand. Someone said the other day, "Oh, I think he does short term trades." Yep, I can do one second, one or three second trades. I can also do very long term. We are long from 2020 in the diamonds. We are long from the from the low of October of 2022. The uh, both diamonds and the QQQ, the uh, sorry UDOW three times long. So and I, we are long the the dollar from 2018. I can also have trades that get stopped out in the same day. But that's I you know I do whatever I can. I try to try to make the trades as long as possible. So. So this is the diamonds trading at 435. Now, if you're looking longer term to get a move that is up 13 points, up 3.22 percent, you can see how long it took a 13 percent move at other times. So I, this is what I'm going to suggest. I like the Dow because it's just got the right mix for what I'm looking at. So I'm going to suggest out of the Q, the diamonds, the QQQ, and the S&P, look, the diamonds are up 3.19. The QQQ, and I think this is just a hint of what's coming, are up 2.24, a little less. The SPY, the S&P 500, is up 2.02. So my suggestion is get your foot in the door of the diamonds. That's not the trade. It's just to get a feel for what, you, what, what you'd like to do. That's number one. I'll deal with it more tomorrow because um, I need to see where we close. We could give back a huge chunk by the end of the day. I just think that the squeeze is on. It's going to be really tough. So the diamonds. And right here at, at 588.37, it's just all-time high. I'm buying the diamonds. But I am going to say to you that I believe there's going, there are going to be higher prices to come. On the very short term, this could be the trade where you get in, and by Friday you have to, you've got to take some profits. And by Monday or Tuesday, we come back into the gap. We don't have to go back to yesterday's close. So that's number one. So I'm going to say get your foot in the door for a longer-term position. That's the way I'm looking at the market, number one. Number two is – you asked me about NVIDIA. I think if this is the point where the semis, all right, it's at an all-time high. It's up 2.8%, uh, up $4 at 143 I think the semis, and there's your, what, what do I always say about an alternate count? The reason why I have it is every once in a while, you get an alternate count that goes to F slash C or G slash C, in this case, E slash C. You invariably go to a D. There's your D in the weekly chart. So Chapman made the fourth highest peak. That's the target, and it's hit the target. And it's a leg E in the monthly. I'm going to suggest out of – you've got NVIDIA, you've got Apple. I think there's a new crowd in town. That's why I'm really thinking seriously of doing a, um, a webinar. And the new, town, new crowd in town or new leaders are going to be something different. So when you say NVIDIA, Apple – uh, I'm going to say to you, I think Apple is definitely a kind of a buy and hold. I don't think it's going to participate as well as the others. Even today, it's only at 1%. But if you, you like, it gives a little dividend. But if you like that sort of thing, and you ask me about it, so I'm going to answer, I'm going to say yes. Then you ask me about DJT. So I mentioned this just the other day. I said, DJT, someone has asked me about it. It was somewhere around uh, 
I think was in the candle that made leg effort was the day before. And I said, treat this as a trading position. At some point, you'll be able to look at it as a longer term position. First of all, we don't know who's going to be president. Let's wait and see. And then you then you got, you got a sense of what's going on. And think of it as a trading position. I don't see it as a long term buy and hold. Not yet. Number one, unless you were in in the 15th. So you can just say, you know what? Core position, I'll trade around it. 200 period moving average it hits exactly at 29.29. Well, she moves to the upside. And even today, it's got a big red candle. It hit 45.77, the all time high. No, not the all time high. The most recent high was 54.68 about seven sessions ago. So I'm going to say to you try to separate your emotions between the, 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 the player and the position. I, it's very hard to do, but try to do that. And what I'm going to say to you, look at this. It gave back today from 45.77 to 35. That is a huge give back. So I'm going to say I would prefer that you treat it as a trading position. You find your, your areas of support. My next support here, if it breaks under 29.29, the 200 period moving average, you could actually go quite a bit lower. But I think this is the range between 35, 34, where we're at right now, and 29, where it should test the waters. But I would treat it as a trade, and I would absolutely have a stop. And what I would try to do is accumulate, I don't know if these are the positions, you're looking to me like it's longer term positions, but I would treat it as a trading position. As soon as I have like two points gain, I take it off. I built up a kitty saying, hey, you're going to be my ATM. I'm just taking money off the table. I'll use you as a trading vehicle. Forget about the title. It happens to be Trump Media and Technology Group, uh, uh, DJT. I'm just saying try your best to separate from the person and look at the chart. And the chart says this weekly chart, if, if it fails and goes under 25 uh, in the next week or two, that's not good. If it holds and by Thursday afternoon, that's tomorrow afternoon or Friday morning, it's managed to just break and touch 40.35. It says, yes, it's in play. So treat it as in play in this area. Maybe we'll look at it again tomorrow. But in this area, I'd be looking for a little kind of a little V-shaped pattern to say, all right, now it's going to try another bounce. I don't like the fact that it gave back so much. 45.77. To 3588. That's something's not right. So this is a dangerous stock in many ways. It, it, it does other things, and the other things are right there in the stock. All right, I'll be back in a moment, and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That was a 1316. Some give back uh, just intraday, but all within a boundary. I'll be right. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, look, this pattern right here is very incomplete. But wait a minute, this pattern here shows a cup formation, right? This pattern here is just higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and lower lows. Uh, peak A, B, C, and there's a D again. All right, so what would be the example? So let's just use this as the example. So this is missing the body of the cup, and this is the handle pattern. And here's the handle itself in, in greater detail in the weekly chart, and there's that leg D. So I'm saying, how? what's the relationship? What can you go to? You have to use the pattern of the Bitcoin uh, futures or the GBTC fund because it's the handle that you're looking at. If you don't have the full details of all the other price points, eh, you're kind of lost. So think of it that there's a huge cup on the left side that's missing. All right, next question came in. Um, so, yeah. So what I would be looking at, so the question was NVIDIA, Apple, or DJT. It's just a, a, a group. I don't think that's the favorable, favorable group right now. I, I could be totally wrong. I'd be going for the more kind of cyclical, let's see how Caterpillar is doing. Caterpillar, yeah, you see, look at that, Caterpillar, all-time high. I'd be going for something else. I'd be going for the, the deep cyclicals. That's just the way I'm looking at it. Um, let's look at it again. Uh, send me a question tomorrow on what, you, what you're thinking in terms of timing, okay? That's most important. Okay, next thing, thing I want to look at is the question over here. Uh, yes, IWM 30 million quality volume. Thank you, baseball. Uh, volume. Shine up the moon suit, Alice. I don't know about that, but it is good. So you've been waiting a long time. I've also been waiting a long time for this to break out. Okay. So, so with that said, let me just show you something. So the dollar, huge move. Huge. I mean, you haven't seen a single day move like this in a long time. Yeah, you've had them before on the weekly basis because it adds up. Look way back there, back in maybe April of this year. But look at the EUR, USD. I had spoken about this before. I said, this is a pattern I'm watching to see if it fails because if it breaks and the um, euro can actually start to trade in the 1.1 area, that's something completely different. But if it makes this kind of dreaded H and then fails and takes out the left side low, it makes that weekly chart arch say, you know, I, I really want to test at least the lows that were made in June of the 1.06, look at the USD JPY and the dollar and the and the yen go in the same direction of the same percentage moves, although today it's pretty close. So there's your uh, alternate count. Oh, I forgot to put that in. 
uh, I spoke about it. I remember at the time, I think I was running out of time and I forgot to put G. I always put this in. G slash C after a chapter wave instant restart right at the 200 pre moving average. Invariably, you're going to go to a higher high. And you did. You went to a D today. There's your D. And this is still a single leg A to the upside. Wow. And the monthly chart says, okay, that's good. The 9 pre moving average holding fabulously. This is the US dollar Japanese yen. So I'm showing the, the currency pairs. So uh, another question came in where was it? oh uh, are you still are you still looking positive oh, i don't know where it was uh, it was positively at uranium i think it was so r u n m that's the uranium etf made a peak d pull back sharply it's up 50 cents at the 200 period moving average it hasn't been acting as well as some of the individual stocks so we are in uec uh, we've had this quite some time um I'm looking at it as more a longer term position. It's at 771 up 60 cents right now. Um, the line period moving average yesterday, I was a little concerned because it did go pink and it's still pink, but there was a nice price move to the upside. It hasn't gone L. I'm waiting for that to do it. And I'm waiting for to get a real sense that Uranium Energy Corporation. And I'll, I'll put CCJ right for the moment, but I'm going to put it there so I, I'll hit that tab in a moment. I want to see 8.25. It's at 771. And then I'm going to, on a closing basis, and then I'm going to say, phew, now you can start to see the weekly chart not make a single leg failure pattern, but a, a, a retracement back towards the top that was at 867. So that's the way I now we're going to press the button. CCJC, it's individual. And this is the whole thing. If I do a webinar, I already thought about it and I've spoken about it. Not every sector sees everything go. There are some favorable stocks in each sector and they can do very, very well. So you've got to be you've got to be very selective. So I've been trying to be selective. We were selective before when it was in the threes, and it went all the way to the sixes. We took a lot of a lot of gains out of it, actually, and then it pulled back, and we got back in. So uh, with that said, U and H question came in. U and H. You see these gaps. You see this island reversal in United Health Group. Um, I get I get very suspicious with United Health Group. It does, I mean, you need a lot of patients. You need to get in at the 200 period moving average back at 440, and then just sit back and say, United Health, you can do anything you want. I think you're going to higher highs and higher lows. But if you're in it, what do you do right now? So I'm just going to take it that the questioner, Elu, um, is already in it, or he wants to know about it. 608 is 83 was the peak D top before it plunged on the gap down earnings to the round number 545, round number low. I love these round numbers. So this is a brand new peak A, brand new peak B, and it's holding so far after, after two and a half hours. So that'll take us to 12 o'clock. Between 12 and 1, if this, all the big gap up stocks, if they have held towards the upper one third of the position from the high, the actual bar itself, not from the, the yesterday's price, but from today's gap, and hold and then closes towards the high, whew, that's going to squeeze the shorts because tomorrow it could actually gap up again. So I'm looking at this, I'm saying very good action, not an all time high right now. 608, uh, 600 was a round number open uh, on the 4th of September, and then it plunged down to a round number low. Watch the stock. Any round numbers today? No, so far. So I'm saying, yes, this looks very good. It does need to fill in something. It's one of the bigger gaps that I've seen in a long time. I've seen a gap once that went on for weeks, and it became a big gap, and then you saw it in the weekly chart. Uh, this is a little different. So this, is, this has this um, Bart Simpson spiky hairstyle. And it says, yes, it could go to another high above 608.63, but be careful because it keeps wanting to come back in the 574 to 550, 540 area to retest major, major baseline strength. So, and a weekly chart, sorry, the monthly chart is in a brand new leg B, a peak B. Well, I can't say peak B. We have to wait for the whole, entire month to go by. So this is looking out. It's very favorable. And I think it is favorable because our healthcare stock, Solventum, um, look at that. It's finally getting close to a leg D at 7606. 
It's trading at 74.50. We're we're long from way down here, um, and then we took profits, some profits, and we little bits, and then we added to it over there, and then it had that big spike because there was some talk about uh, some spin off. I don't know what it was. Went to 76.05. Then it came back. We still held our position. Took a little bit off because it was a trading position, but I think it has a chance. So I'm just trying to put the two together. Yeah, health seems to be working right. Now. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Admissions out. And look at Microsoft, just stuck. Some of these big mega stocks are going to be stuck. I'll be back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So the question comes in, and this is kind of what I'll also be discussing in my webinar. What happens if you're late to the party, but you still think that this, the party's still going to go on for 1.30 a.m. in the morning? Um, I, I, the plan that I had was to start a, a split position. I wanted such and such, and I wanted it at a certain price, under a certain price, even though it was underneath what was flashing pre-market. And then I wanted a price much lower down, so that if I got the one and it just took off, that's fine, I'm, I'm happy, nice position, goes up. But if I got the one and it immediately pulled back, um, I, it's not what I wanted, but I was prepared for it because I didn't have to have a big wide stop. I would rather add to that position, hope that it has some kind of support level that it, I'm looking at, that I'm that's where I want to get the second position, and then put a stop in for them, all, both of them. So that's the way. The other is to say, I like it long term. It got away from me. I still want it. I don't care. I want it, and I'm getting in, and then you get in. 
So those are positions that I, I would, I, that's the way I, I treat it. So the one says, I do want it, and I'm going to get in now, even though it's gapped up, and I'm splitting the position, and I'll have the other part much lower down. The other says, I want to pull back, and I'm getting only the one position. If it doesn't pull back, that's fine. But you've got to have a very strict discipline, number one. Number two is within the context of a market like this that we're looking at right now, and I'm showing G, GEO, uh, congratulations, Fletch, did a beautiful trade there, got out, what, with 30-something percent profit in a short period of time? Very nice. Um, so I'm looking at this and I'm saying, do you? So look, the Dow is still, look at that candle, it's still holding towards the, can you imagine if you were short? And you were saying, oh, oh my, what am I going to, what, oh. it's, I mean, sweat, tonight would be the sweating phase. So I'm saying that this can go on until Friday, maybe noon, and then we start a big pullback over the weekend. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Steve Rose. It should be a wonderful show as always. Check out my opening call, Daily News, that week. Had one of our best days. Make